Greetings and welcome back to day 29 and I can't believe it we're almost wrapping this up and as I was thinking through well, what's the best way that we can possibly think through really wrapping this up we're talking this last week in terms of ads and generating traffic well a big piece probably the biggest piece of actually driving really good traffic is how do I get them to close like how do I close the sale right like how do I lock it down and a big question that pops into the mind of most people, I get this question all the time, is how do I increase conversions? Well, that's a big piece because generating traffic and getting new leads, as we've seen in Facebook ads and now Google ads, I've shown you in, this, in these modules, look, getting traffic isn't the issue for most people. It's actually getting them to convert and closing the sale. So today, what I'm going to give you is a Facebook chat follow-up formula to follow up and close sales through Facebook chat. Now, this can be used in WhatsApp, it can be used in Messenger, it can be used in person, it can be used on the phone. I have used this exact script on the phone and closed high ticket sales uh, over $3,000 multiple times, multiple, multiple times. So what you're gonna see in this training is a very specific formula, it's a blueprint of how I and clients that I've taught over the years have closed sales specifically through email marketing and Facebook Facebook Messenger and through just messaging and phone and, and on the phone and if you follow this and if you pay close attention to how this works this can really bump your conversions maybe two three X just by not giving up on the sale so there's a, there's a famous phrase it's called you follow up with somebody until they buy die or unsubscribe you should write that down buy die or unsubscribe one of those things has to happen until then you do not stop following up with people so if you're doing any sort of organic sort of message messaging on Facebook or people are messaging you from Facebook groups or whatever it is look you can use this exact formula to help follow up and close more of these people and start getting a result faster that's the end result of this boot camp is we want you to start getting results faster and the best way to do that is to follow up with all of your leads follow up with people who have shown interest and I'll give you exact scripts to do that so without further ado we're gonna hop right into this live training video I think you're absolutely gonna love this make sure to take diligent notes so when I got started and my journey online started in about 2009, I saw a webinar. I was in the basement of my college. Okay. I was like, I was like, well, how old would I have been there? I was 20 years old. Okay. And I was, our, our library for our, for our college was in the basement and I was sitting on a desktop computer and actually my girlfriend now wife of eight years um, was sitting a, a couple computers away from me. I can still picture the exact computer, the exact screen that was open, everything. And I was watching this webinar as, as a, a good mentor of mine, his name is Mark, was selling. And he sold tens of thousands of dollars worth of product on a live Zoom webinar. Uh, it wasn't Zoom at the time, but um, Tyler says he's at college right now. So there you go, buddy. So here's the deal is, in 2009, he was selling and I watched him and I heard him sell them. And here's a little ninja trick he did on the webinar. He would call out people who were buying. So let's say uh, I had Tyler on, on the webinar and, I would, and, I was, and he was selling this product. It was multiple thousands of dollars. Um, I don't know the exact price, something like $3,000, right? So he had done probably 15 to 20 of these sales. And I was like, holy smokes, that's a lot of money. And he would call out and he would say, Tyler, you just purchased. I saw your name come through in the checkout. Can you tell me a little bit about why you purchased Tyler? And, and he would unmute people. And I was just sitting there like, you've got to be kidding me. I thought all these online people were just scammers who were just out there, you know, steal, essentially just stealing people's money. And lo and behold, um, he was there. The, the social proofing of that was so powerful. So my journey began in 2009, right around there. Okay. And the journey to, to 2019, right. Involved a lot of different marketing strategies. Some of it was more gorilla style, which is gorilla, gorilla. I think that's how you spell it. Um, not gorilla as in like an ape. Okay. Like, like gorilla marketing. 
Um, and some of it has involved a little bit more automation style. So just advertising straight through to ads and driving sales. We're going to talk a little bit more about like grassroots getting started guerrilla marketing today because I think it's going to be really powerful for some of you who are like, I just, I'm not really sure how to get conversions. I'm not really sure how to, how to make the sale essentially. I'm not sure how to, how to close down sales. And, and specifically what I'm going to give you today is, is a four step follow up formula. So when you drive leads, let's say through Facebook ads, let's say through solo ads, let's say you drive leads through YouTube videos, whatever it is. And uh, you can either, I mean, you can drive people into Facebook groups. You can call your call to action can be go to, go to my Facebook group or go to my email list or whatever you want them to do. Right. It doesn't really matter, but, but getting them into your community of some sort so that you can follow up with them. Right now, what's really powerful these days, especially is the use of things like Facebook messenger. All right. Facebook messenger is super powerful. Also Facebook groups is extremely powerful. So uh, I just did a hot seat critique this last week with two ladies. I think they're from the UK, but they essentially teach people how to do um, social media agencies. Okay. And uh, on their bridge page. So if you're not familiar with this, let me just explain what a bridge page is. Okay. So um, whenever you're setting up a sales funnel, Okay. Usually you have something called an opt-in page, right? And this is just where you submit your name and email. And, and so there's like a little box that says name, little box that says email, just a quick hand raise from everybody here. Are you all familiar with an opt-in page? You just enter your name and email address and Tanya. Okay. Everybody is very familiar. All right. We got a big crowd on here, by the way. So I'm pumped that you guys all made it here live. This is awesome. So, the opt-in page, after somebody hits the submit button, right? They hit submit, what happens? Well, that information, that data is transferred over to an email list, which then you can email to later on down the road. That's why whenever you subscribe for something like a 10% discount or something, those people then email you 80,000 times over the next 10 days trying to get you to buy something, right? So after you submit that though, you're redirected to a thank you page or in affiliate marketing that's called a bridge page okay now on these ladies bridge bridge page what they did is they had just a headline and then a video and then a link to join their facebook group so it just says join and they have multiple hundreds of people now in this facebook group case because they've been building it and and they can sell to those people over and over and over again and give value right so here's the trick the other the other added benefit of that is that they can now utilize Facebook Messenger to privately message these people who have already shown interest, already joined their group, and close them into sales. I wanna just make sure, can you type to me in the chat, does that make sense why that's so powerful? Can you just type to me in the chat that that makes sense why that is so powerful? I just wanna make sure Dan says yes, Amir says yes. Does that make, am I just really clear? Just want to be super clear. You'll gain traffic, but you'll also be able to build relationship with people. You'll be able to build a, a relationship and formulate trust and empathy and influence with people and thus sell them. Okay. So, so that's kind of the starting place, the starting ground. Now let me share my screen one more time here. So bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I'm going to share my screen. Now I'll just be real honest. It, I don't love doing slideshow presentations. Okay. I'll just be, I'll just be real honest with you. I just don't love it, but guess what? I'm going to do it. So just, you know, if you hate it, like I hate it, just bear with me. I'll try to do a little drawing along the way and I'll, I'll try to paint for you lots of analogies. I just like, I went through all the slideshow crap in college and I just like, I, the amount of times I fell asleep, I think was just kind of insane. So um, anyway, can you see my screen? Okay. Just hit the hand raise button real quick and let me know. You can see my screen. Does it say marketers club? All right. Lots of hand raises. Beautiful. Thank you everybody who's participating. I appreciate that a lot. Look, if you're going to come on to a webinar like this and you're going to come on to a training, at least give it your full attention, right? At least give it everything you've got. Thank you, Rita. Appreciate that. Um, just give it, just give it everything you've got. Okay. Just give it everything you got. All right. So, 
Um, let me see here. Let me, let me move. I'm just going to move this over on my screen just a little bit. Hang on, hang on. And what, what we're going to talk about, so that the title, I guess, of today's webinar is something called the fortune in the follow-up. The fortune in the follow-up is, is a saying that's pretty common amongst, amongst marketers that essentially just means that's where the money is. It's in the follow-up. Okay, it's not in the cute headlines. Sometimes it's not in the, in the amazing videos. It's just in the persistence of following up. Write that word down, persistence. It's in the persistence of following up, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little four-step formula, uh, but before we get too far into that, I wanna share a little bit about the importance of follow-up and, and the difference it can make in your business. Because for me, when I got started in 2009, a big part of my of, of building my business and getting my initial sales was all guerrilla follow-up, more individual type marketing than it was like just launch a $10,000 ad campaign and watch $185,000 flow in. That just doesn't really happen, okay? And plus I didn't have $10,000, right? Who here has $10,000 to put into marketing right now at this very second? Joshua does. And that's it. Okay. So there's one person out of all of you. So about 1% of you, because <laughs> this has got a lot of people on this live webinar, about 1% 1, 1 of you have that kind of money, right? And so that's usually why people are here. They're, they're trying to figure out how do I turn this online thing into a profitable venture. So let's dive in first and foremost, and let's kind of get into the initial uh, framework, the initial um, the, well, yeah, the initial framework of the fortune of the follow-up. So what I'm going to share with you today is the three follow-up secrets that will change how you're interacting with either your email list, your Facebook page, uh, or groups, your Facebook audience, we'll call it, and other followers of you and your brand. All right. So there's going to be three follow-up secrets with a four-step formula. Okay. The, the reason guys, follow-up is so important is because number one, it's often the missing ingredient. It's usually everything is set up, the funnel, the emails, the everything, and then they miss sort of the personalized touch of follow-up. Most people hate to do it and thus don't do it, right? But the other thing is it gets super fast results. It gets super fast results, okay? The meaning and what I'm talking about specifically is the ability to use follow-up in messages or in emails or in more, even on the phone, the, the results are quick, snappy to the point, and they're usually better than just running cold traffic through to an offer. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second too. And the last piece is that you can get way more ROI from your ad spend. So if you're spending $10 a day on Facebook, if you employ a really solid, consistent follow-up uh, sequence and method, the odds of you getting a much higher return on your investment, much, much better. Okay. All right. So the blueprint to earn more. All right. First of all, here's our three steps. If you're taking notes, write them down. First is market to the masses. So look, you can't follow up if you don't have any marketing, right? If you, <laughs> I mean, if there's no audience, there's nobody listening, who are you going to follow up with? This is a no brainer, but look, Sometimes, you know, don't put the cart before the horse, okay? Um, sorry, I just lost my slide there. Step number two is to isolate the few, meaning you can give them an offer, you can give them a survey, you can give them a free consult. There's different ways that you can, you make them reach out, okay? It's kind of like giving them, like setting down cheese uh, for a mouse to come get, right? Set down the cheese, let them come get it, and then you can identify or isolate the few people who come and get it. So whether you give them a little survey or offer a free consultation or a free call, or you have a special limited time offer and they have to email you or message you on Facebook for it, any of those will work, okay? Step number three is to sell one-on-one -on -one for immediate results. That can be via phone, it can be via message, it can be via whatever. But there's, look, what most people when they hear selling on Facebook Messenger or selling via like an email conversation or something, what they're thinking of is begging people for money. <laughs> 
And that's not what we're talking about. I want to teach you today a little bit about how to use leverage, okay? Using leverage and using an, a, a specific offer. I'll give you a couple messages even that you can send towards the end of this that might help you frame it and just figure out how to actually say it in a message. It'll probably transform how you're, if you're currently doing this, will transform how you're doing it. If you're not doing it, then we'll teach you how to do it and why it's important, okay? Okay, so the three follow-up secrets that I wanna share with you that, are, that were big for me personally, big aha moments for me, and changed a lot of how I viewed this process. The first being is I don't need a, a huge, big budget with tons and tons of advertising to make good money online. Let me say that again. I don't need a big budget with tons and tons of advertising to make good money. Might be worth it to write that one down for yourself too, okay? Number two, I don't have to be a sales superstar. It can actually just be easy and I'll try to make it easy for you today with just a quick four-step formula, okay? Quick four-step formula, okay? Secret number three is you only need to understand where the hidden pools of money are. I only need to understand where these hidden pools of money are, meaning you only need to understand where your ideal avatar is hanging out, where your ideal customer is hanging out or playing around, okay? So, so here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through, and you guys can ask questions as we go through this, okay? But I'm gonna walk you through a very simple Facebook chat follow-up formula, okay? Now, when I do this, I want you to either engage and ask questions or be taking notes as we go. And here's, here's kind of an ideal way to do this. Number one, many of you are marketing and you have either an email list already built or you're working on it. Number one of the main things you can do is send out an email to your list and say something like, hey, can we connect? Hey, would you ever wanna connect personally? Something like that. And you can, you can spit out the offer to spend 10 minutes with them on a Zoom call or on a phone call or you can send them over to your Facebook page. At the bottom of your emails, you should always have connect with me on Facebook, add me as a friend on Facebook. And then when people add you as a friend on Facebook, you say, hey, how did you hear about me? Yeah, how do you know me? And then they'll say, oh, I was on your email list and I just wanted to connect. Immediately into the Facebook chat form formula. Okay, got it? So again, there has to be a little bit of marketing involved in order to start the relationship or get the relationship moving. You don't want to just be going out and adding a bunch of random people. Okay. The other way to do that is, you know, go out into Facebook groups. You can do this for free and just post valuable content, right? Say, Hey, I made this YouTube video. It shows you exactly how to, how to create a Facebook ad or, um, maybe, maybe you're like in the, in the plumbing business. Okay. And, and you're really good at generating leads for your plumbing business because of what you've learned in this industry. Well, then you can go specifically to, let's say you go over to a, a, a plumbing business in, in the Facebook group and you post a five minute video about how you got five new leads or 10 new leads to your plumbing business. Guess what? The plumbers in that business are going to say, guess what? you're gonna get about 85 comments saying, how did you do it, how did you do it, how did you do it, right? And in your, in your post, you just say, PM me to learn how I did it. And then if you're selling a course on how to get five, uh, how to get 10 new plumbing clients a month through Facebook advertising, and you sell this tiny little course for 37 bucks, and guess what, you have 100 people purchase, well, guess what? That's $3,700 worth of front end sales for your own product. And then maybe you sell them a $2,000 personal one-on-one -on -one coaching or a group coaching package and you generate an extra 20, 30, $40,000 for yourself over the course of a year, right? So a little bit of guerrilla marketing and then you build on that. How I generated an extra $40,000 in year one of my plumbing consulting business and how you can too. See, it's leveraging results, right? Okay, so let's get, into the, let's get into the formula. Step number one is to build rapport, okay? That really exists in any sales conversation and really any sales, um, in any sort of sales and, and marketing, really the first step is always just constant rapport. Build rapport, build rapport, build rapport, right? We'll get into a little bit more of that in just a second, but I'm gonna give you the outline first. 
Number two is leverage, okay? Number two is leverage, or another way to say that, I guess, would be to uh, identify pain points, right? Or gain leverage. This is where I was talking about earlier about how you don't want to just walk in and start begging people for money. How you avoid begging people for money is you establish leverage or identify potential pain points that exist for that individual, right? So again, back, back to the plumbing analogy, right? So initially, all you're trying to do is just say, hey, John, I see you own this plumbing business in, in Idaho or Wisconsin or whatever. And maybe, maybe he owns a plumbing business that's in a town where you grew up or where you have a cousin or an uncle living or, you know, even if you have no connection to it at all, right? Oh, you own a plumbing business in Minneapolis, Minnesota? Geez, I hear it's really cold up there, huh? How are you staying warm on the job, right? Just little, like, I, I, look, I'm an introvert. I hate stupid banter like that, but <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it, okay? You have to figure it out. Um, that's, just, that's just me. That's who I am. <clears throat> so... Kelly hates, or Kelly said, LOL, Tyler hates it too. Yeah. So look, but the, but the other aspect is, is if you really don't enjoy that process, like there has to be some piece of you that's like, you got to want it a little bit and it, and you need to, here, here's where I started to see success. And if I can just be candid with all of you guys here, watch me build rapport here. Too bad I'm not selling anything, but <laughs> watch me build rapport here. If I can just be candid, when I was getting started, I had, to, I had to learn the process of enjoying the process. I had to learn to enjoy the process of challenging myself, of, of challenging the way that I viewed certain things, right? Because I view that as scammy or I view that as, um, not scammy, I view that as sort of um, just, just not meaningful, Right. And so what I did is I learned to see how those little mini steps of rapport and of just kind of the small talk shooting the shit kind of stuff really helps to build kind of a layer of trust. And especially if you can speak directly to things that they're passionate about or things that, you know, are, are directly impacting their lives. Like, Hey, you're in Minneapolis. How do you stay warm up there? Jeez. You gotta be freezing your friggin' hoo-hahs off. Right. Um, and then you establish a little bit of leverage, right? Geez, Minneapolis, that's got to be a competitive market. You get a lot of business up there? Actually, business is pretty slow. Oh, shoot. Why is that? Now you got leverage, right? And if it's constantly just like no leverage, no leverage, no leverage, they're like, nope, no problem getting clients. I got more clients than I can take, right? Then maybe you, maybe you find leverage in, well, are you able to scale? How do you even keep... Like, geez, do you have kids? How do you see your kids? Like all this, right? So whatever angle it is that you're really geared towards selling towards, I'm not saying just sell something just for the sake of freaking selling something. But if you can find the angle, marketing and sales is all about angles, that will establish a little bit of leverage for you, okay? Step number three is to ask for the money. And most people are scared of that. Oh my gosh, I can't ask for money. Just ask for the money. If they say no, see ya. It's fine. That's why you got to make an irresistible offer. Number four is to lead the sale. Some people just ask for money and don't lead and guide the sale to completion. And I'm going to share with you, oh, I, I have some magic for you, okay? I have some magic for you right now on how you can really close that thing in and make it a done deal, unlike what most people do online, all right? You cool with that? Here's just, and if I can just, I'm going to pull open uh, my next slide. What I'm going to do, let me just um, hang on one sec here. I need, to, I need to make a quick edit on this next slide. But uh, I'm going to give you a few tips as well right now on what not to do, what absolutely not to do. And I want you to just make sure if you're a little newer to the game, if you're a little bit newer to the Facebook space, the online space, I just want to make sure that you take notes on this stuff. All right. So this is my list of absolutely do nots. And these are kind of important. All right. So number one is go right in for the kill, AKA the quick sale. Okay. Try to go to bed after the first date. Meaning now I'm not talking about, Hey, get your head out of the gutter. What I'm, what I mean is they just want to go right for the sale. Hey, did you see this new offer? It's a hot new offer on how to, on how to, 
you know, generate leads on Facebook. You want to buy it, right? They want to just go to bed right after the first date. Whoa, 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 whoa there, boy. Not quite yet. Or this is only the first date, right? No rapport, no trust, no consent, right? You want a consenting sale. I should not. I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, number three. Treat people like they're just another piece of meat, like they're just another sale. No one wants to feel like that, right? Um, in terms of specifically on Facebook, what people will do is they'll add a ton of friends. They'll add 50, 100 friends on Facebook. Just add friends, add friends, add friends. And as soon as somebody accepts the friendship, then they start spamming them with a bunch of messages, right? Trying to go to bed after the first date and it doesn't work, right? You can't, you cannot, literally, you, if you're going to add friends, if that's, a, if that's a way that you want to go about this, which I wouldn't even necessarily recommend, it's better if they request you as a friend. If you're going to do that, just make sure you're only doing like a few a day, like max, but I wouldn't even recommend it. You're going to get marked as spam really quick. You're going to actually, there's a chance that you get blocked and banned completely from Facebook forever. Um, okay. Obliterate Facebook groups with a ton of posts and spammy messages. If you're going to post in Facebook groups, it's got to be good, valuable content. It has to be high level, good, valuable content. Okay. Um, and then people post affiliate links everywhere. This goes kind of hand in hand, but if you're going to go in Facebook groups, if you're going to go in any group anywhere, you can't be throwing out affiliate links to all these different products. You're going to get marked as spam immediately kicked out. You're going to get a red flag on your account. It's just going to be a disaster. And plus it, look, the sale doesn't deserve to happen, right? If that's what you're doing, I'm just going to tell you right now, everybody in this world has told you, you deserve to make a million dollars. If that's what you're doing for marketing, you don't deserve to make a million dollars online. You don't, you haven't earned it yet. You haven't become a skilled enough marketer to get there yet. That's why you're here. That's why you're here, right? So that you don't make these mistakes, screw over your entire marketing campaign and just make a bunch of people pissed off at you and create memes about how much you suck in the meantime. <laughs> okay. All right. So your goal in this type, and this can be an email, this can be in groups, this can be messages, this can be WhatsApp, this can be all this stuff. Your goal is to be the kind educator who merely recommends a solution rather than the salesman that everybody tries to avoid, okay? Rather than the salesman that everybody tries to avoid. Now, let me give you our four-step formula and with a few here's how to say it type messages that might help guide you a little bit on top of my whole, you know, you know, Minnesota, it's freezing, whatever kind of thing. Okay. So number one, building rapport, right? So a couple outcomes, number one, find things in common, family, jobs, hobbies, right? Different common interests. Maybe they went to the same college. Maybe they live in the same state. Maybe you grew up in the hometown that they now live in, whatever, right? Give compliments. Okay. Seems like you're running an incredible ship over there. Seems like your business is crushing. Well done. Nice, nice work, man. That's, that's incredible. You know, stuff like that. You can share pictures of daily life. And then, and then just giving a tiny personal touch goes a really long way. Hey, how was your week? Right? How was your holidays? Did you, did you meet up with family? Did you have any, did you have any interesting conversations about Trump? Did you talk about impeachment? Are you ready to pull your hair out over your, uh, over aunt Sally who won't shut up about make America great again. <laughs> right. And, and just, and just have some, have some measure of just cool, calm, collected, right. Fun, fun. Right. And that's the type people want to do business with people who are fun. People they like people, they know, like, and trust. That's a very common marketing phrase, but some of you probably haven't heard it. No, they like, and they trust. And this like factor, ever since the inception of Facebook, that like factor is now worth more than you'll even imagine. People want to do business with people they like. So when Dave recently went out and put out this ad, he put out, he put out a video that was Dr. Seymour Profits. Has anybody seen this? 
raise your hand if you've seen this video called Dr. C. C. More. C. More. C. More Profits. Oh, Sean Lowry. What's up, my brother? Marsha. Hey, Tyler. Okay, so Sean C. Well, here, here's the deal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch my screen over right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a little bit from Sean Lowry. He's in the house. And uh, my point with the Dr. Seymour Profits is just simply that uh, Dave's engagement on his page and everything has just gone super far up ever since putting up that, uh, that video. It's just been a really powerful video, okay? Um, but let me, Sean, I'm going to pull open your, your profile and just show people just how fun you are right? Um, let me pull this open here real quick. Um, and Sean's a great example of this. He hasn't even really fully monetized um, his whole thing yet, but he is getting there. Here's Sean Lowry. Can you, can you guys all see him? Are you able to see this okay? Yeah, I'm just pulling him open on Facebook. If you guys don't follow this guy, by the way, I mean, just go search this freaking guy. Some of the funniest videos you're ever going to see but this guy goes fishing like every freaking day. Listen to some of this stuff. They say, see what big these look, check it out. <laughs> Spot like on the trolling where you can kind of tell how we're moving up and down. Like I said, this wind's are blowing real bad, guys. Oh, oh yeah, this is more like it right here. You got the first, the first one. On the bottom of it, boy, check it out. How are you? All right, so I'm not going to sit here and play a bunch of videos for you, but the guy, I mean, he's, Sean, you're pretty well known. I mean, he posts and usually has, you know, either, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred views, a couple thousand views, lots of likes. Um, you can see his YouTube channel. Let's see, here's his YouTube channel. He's gone from basically no subscribers to about four, almost 500 subscribers in just a couple of months. Actually, let's see how far back to, in, in literally, I mean, I don't know, maybe a month or so, a couple months, something like that. Um, no, no, no. It's been a while, I guess. Um, but most of his growth has come very recently. And he also has a group with, uh, let's see, I don't know how many members are in here, Sean, but um, if you can type to me how many people are in your group, Sean, that'd be awesome. But it's just this, it's Let's Go Fishing, and it's this awesome little public group. And um, he's got now a little thing that he does with bass casters. It's a little sponsorship thing, right? And he's just started creating stuff around stuff that he loves. But anyway, Sean's a good example, guys, of just like uh, of what I was talking about. Let me jump back over to the keynotes here. Of just the personal touch of the, of the finding things in common, right? And what Sean is doing He's almost got 3,000 people in his group, so nice job, Sean. But look, I, I, and by the way, I'm not a partner with Sean. I'm not going to get any cut from promoting Sean, but he's been in the legendary community now for three years. He's attended almost every single one of our masterminds, and we host a mastermind down in Florida. Uh, Sean attends almost every single one of those, and every single mastermind that I've been to, he's been to more than I have, but every single one that I've been to, uh, I have watched somebody around, Sean has, Sean is always, always act, asking for the next nugget. What's the next step up in my game? What's the next, he's so intuitive, right? And you listen to his videos and you're like, man, this guy's crazy. He's crazy. Like, where is this guy? He's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But the building of rapport he does through his content all. And then someday, here's my thing, someday there's going to be an aha moment. And it'll come at the right time. There's no need to rush it. There's no need to push it. Someday, for Sean, there's going to be this kind of aha moment where it all opens up. And, and the line to, it, because right now what he's doing is he's acquiring attention. So if any of you are familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk, he, he says he's essentially um, – what Gary V says is, is right now attention is something that's traded like stocks. So the same way that you can put $100 into a stock of Nike or Apple or whatever, you can place stock in people's attention and it's traded on the internet on social media daily, right? And so what Sean is doing is he's kind of put an all-in bet on attention. Number one, he actually just really enjoys it. But number two, he's placed an all-in bet on people's attention. 
Because what happens, just like stocks down the road, is as that builds and grows, guess what? It's a pretty massive asset, right? If you save just a couple hundred bucks every single month and reinvest everything in the stock market in 30, 40 years, it's like compounding interest. It's, it's something that'll pay you massive dividends in the form of millions of dollars down the road. Except with attention, it's something, it's, it's, for instance, a YouTube channel is almost, or a Facebook group is like an asset. It's almost like building a house. It's almost like investing in, a, in the real estate market where down the road in five, 10 years, he might be able to sell that thing at a $50,000 profit, and never have to own any sort of collateral, never even own a, a house at all. So all that to say, the personal touch, the, you can work that into content and be building rapport through your content. That's why Facebook lives are so powerful. You'll see Sean go on a Facebook live from time to time. So anyway, all of that's super powerful. Okay. Number two is to identify pain and gain leverage. So for instance, questions you can ask, are you happy? Think of how, Think of how simple that question is. Are you really happy? Are you getting paid enough? So maybe you're selling something around how to make more money with your online business, or maybe you're selling, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, you're selling, uh, so for instance, maybe Sean partners with an affiliate company where uh, they teach people how to become freelance digital marketers. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Sean says something like, you know, hey, look, I, I work out in the woods as a, as a frickin' in the lumber yards. What, Sean, I'm not sure what your job title is, but he works out as, a, as basically a, a lumber guy. And I learned how to do this. Uh, he's a logger, Pa. He's a logger. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and I learned over the last three years how to build an audience. Now I've got a group of 3,000 people. I have almost 500 subscribers on YouTube. You want to look, you want to see where I learned how to do it. Want to discover how I was able to do it. Right. Are you open to change? Are you frustrated with this? Are you open to change? And then guess what people? Yeah. I, yeah. Tell me a little bit more. I, you're right. I am sick of this freaking logging job. All right. Let me tell you more. So then Sean messages over to them and says, all right, Josh. All right, Tyler. All right, Mark. If I can show you exactly how I started my business and give you a blueprint to do the same, and I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I'll show you how I learned how to do it. And it only costs seven bucks to check it out and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. What would you say? What would you say? Guess what they're probably going to say? Seven bucks. Yeah, I guess I'd check it out. They might say, is it a scam? <laughs> they might say it, but most people are going to say, yeah, sure, what the hell? Seven bucks. I paid that this morning for my venti frappuccino at Starbucks. What do you got? All right? And then you lead the sale. You don't say, here's a link. You say, here's what I want you to do next. Go here. You give them a link and you say, Here's what you do next. You create an account, you log in, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a calendar invite for your private mentor, pick a date and schedule your first session. Welcome to the team, training starts tonight. Right? Here's what I want you to do. Go here, create an account, log in. Go here, watch the video, sign up. After you sign up, there's going to be an upsell. You can say yes or no to that. Just depends on what you want. Okay. doesn't matter. You don't have to buy anything else. Okay. And then you're going to get access to X, Y, Z training starts tonight. You ready? Now think about that. Now, part of you might say, part of me in that moment says, well, that sounds maybe a little cheesy after you've built the rapport. But what they're going to feel, if you snap out of your own mind for a second, what most people feel in that moment is a sense of calm. They feel a sense of uh, leadership from you. They feel a sense of guidance. Most people are too scared to ask for those things. Most people are too scared to say those words right there 
and it's why they've, they've perpetuated broke habits forever. I used to perpetuate those broke habits like you would not even imagine or believe. And now I've just gotten to the point where I, I finally chose to believe that humans love to buy. Write that down. Humans love, we're coming up on Black Friday, humans love to purchase shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. People love to buy stuff. It is like the most near and dear thing to our hearts. We love purchasing stuff. We love it, especially when it's attached to an opportunity. Ooh, that's interesting. People love to buy. Love to buy. Don't, with, don't withhold the ability to sell to people, okay? And then, are you ready for the one big thing you say after that? Who's ready? You want one final thing that'll really seal the deal? This message is just, this is one that I love to pull out. I love to pull this one out. And it was taught to me in terms of phone sales, but I use it in messages too. You ready for it? You say this, do you want me to stay here and walk you through the process? Or do you want me to grab a cup of coffee and come back in five minutes and just kind of let you do your thing? Is that powerful? Hey, do you want me to stay here? Maybe we can hop on a Zoom call and I can walk you through the process. It's pretty simple, but you know, maybe you have a question or two as you go through it. Or should I just go, I'll just go grab a cup of coffee or I'll, I'll go grab a beer real quick and I'll come back to my desk here in five minutes. Think about why that's powerful. Number one, you're, you're allowing them the option of either way. But number two, I mean, truthfully, I'll probably just sit here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but number two, here's what you're doing. Most people just send out a link and they're lazy. They have lazy habits. Here's a link. Go click it. Buy my shit. I'm uncertain. I'm confused. I'm overwhelmed. So I don't have the wherewithal to tell you exactly what to do. Even if I, it, like, I just, I'm lost myself. So I don't know what to do with you. Rather than that whole approach, hey, you want me to stay here? I can fire up a, a quick Zoom meeting. We can actually meet face to face. I can give you a call and I can walk you through the process. Or you know what? I can go get lost and, and let you do your thing here for a second. I'll come back and check on you in five minutes. What'll it be? Because here's, and I want you to write this terminology down. You know what this is called? Does anybody know what this is called, by the way, in terms of sales? This is, this is like the least manipulative way to sell possible, but does anybody know what this is called? There's a, there's a term for it. There's a specific term for it. It's the soft sale. Charlotte, that's close. It's kind of a soft close, but there's a very specific word for this right here. You wanna know what it is? It's called the assumptive sale. Write that down. It's the assumptive close. So my assumption is, okay, we've gone from, hey, if I can show you exactly how I started my own thing, it's only seven bucks, there's a, there's a guarantee, what would you say? Yeah, sure, let's check it out. Okay, great. Here's what I wanna do next, it seems like. And, and do you want a really cool line that I've used both on the phone and in messages? I say something like this. I just thought of this right now. <clears throat> I used to say this all the time when I was closing. I, I was closing three to $5,000 sales on the phone with people I barely met before. I would just say something to the effect of this. I would say, hey, look, here's the deal. Um, Joe, you know, we've talked a little bit about, it seems like here's, here's the three main things that you really love about the product. To me, it seems like everything is green lights. So here's what I want you to do next. Did you hear that word? Did you hear the sentence? It seems like everything is green lights. And if you say that in a nice way, that's not condescending. Hey, to me, I guess it just seems like everything's green lights. So here's what I want you to do next. Go here, create an account. Here's what's going to happen next. And if there's objections, if it's not green lights, they'll tell you. 
So you're not forcing a sale on anyone. You're not manipulating anyone. All you're doing is saying, look, you're still here talking to me. So my guess is you're going to buy something from me. I'm not here just to quickly, you know, to chat with you and catch up with you all night. Like my assumption here is we're, we're going somewhere with this. I've already asked you about the $7 thing. You know, it's seven bucks. I know like, you know, what's happening here. Seems like everything is green light. So here's what I want you to do next. I want you to go here, create an account. Do you want me to stay here? Right. Do you want me to stay here and walk you through the process? Or do you want me to just grab a cup of coffee and come back in five minutes? Now, some of you, some of you came into this industry, this online space, thinking this whole thing is automated. Well, Matt, why are really, I'm going to be messaging people on Facebook. I'm going to be emailing with people like, and closing $7 sales. Like really, I have a couple, I have, I have some hard words for you. Number one, most people who made any significant money online started just like this. It's going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's going to be the same yesterday, 10 years ago, today, and forever. The unscalable things will win every time. Anybody can set up an automated funnel and launch Facebook ads and try to just you know, stand behind the curtain like Oz, like the Wizard of Oz and just, you know, have a million dollars show up. But the real unscalable things, building a tribe, building an audience, building an asset, a long-term business, that's something a small percentage of people sit down, watch a webinar like this and say, yeah, you know what? I think I can pull this off. And then what they do is they're able to turn one advertising dollar into five or 10, as opposed to everybody else who's struggling to turn one into two. I'm not saying you can't do the one into two, you know, whatever automated thing. You can do that if you craft a really amazing offer. All right. If you're able to put together a really limited time offer, that's just baller and it's amazing. But with where you're at right now, if you're just kind of getting moving, just getting your feet wet, right? This type of create content, get engagement, engage with those people and close them up, get into Facebook groups. Those kind of things are the, are the things that will lead to quick results. It'll get your feet wet. It will get your taste, your, your appetite wet for more. And it will start moving you in the right direction. But it's sort of this, there's, there's a moment where your internal, your internals kind of shift away from, away from lack of clarity, away from lack of direction and moving towards a, okay, here's where people need to go. I'm going to get them there. That's all I really need to do right now today. I know where I need to send people. I know what my offer is. I know where the the, the freaking sales pages. And I, I just, I have a way to get there. I have a way to get them there. Whether it's my products, somebody else's products doesn't matter. Even if you don't know what you're selling yet, that's okay. Once you get there, employ these right away, start to get results. Okay.